So check out this 1963 C650 Ford cab over that I was able to find on Marketplace. I think this thing's in really good shape for something that's been 31 years since it's been on the road. I mean, according to the tags, it's got a lot to offer. I'm really excited about this thing. This, this is a really, really nice truck. And I'm fortunate that I found it and was able to pick it up. You're on the Dork It Up YouTube channel. So the guy I picked this truck up from said he would be able to deliver it in the next couple days with his rollback. Uh, unfortunately, things worked out. He wasn't able to do that. So my brother and I had to cut the fenders off of my trailer to haul it home. The truck was a little wider than the spread on the fender, inner fender wheels. So we figured it'd be easier to take the fenders off, weld them back on later than it would be to try and actually raise this truck over the fenders and then drop it in front of them and it's going to be a little bit heavier than the trailer so according to google right around seven thousand pounds which trailer's not really good for seven the axles is good for seven but that's including the weight of the trailer so we're slightly over slightly over the trailer So with a little bit of help from the neighbors, four-wheel drive, and some of the spectators, we was able to get this thing pulled out of there. Once we got it on level ground, it was time to see if we could load this thing. Now, the truck is pretty heavy, so you know, in the back of our minds, we're all wondering, hey, is this thing really going to fit? We'll see. So here we are trying to get this heavy truck up onto the trailer. The ramps for this trailer was bent just a little bit when we started. I bent them with a different truck at a different time. It was a lighter truck. This one's a little heavier, so it looks like it's bent them further. I've kind of thought... My ramps were a little puny to start with, so I guess now I'll need to reinforce them, bend them back, get them straight again. So those squeaky voices in the background, if you slowed those down to tell what they were saying, I believe you'll hear everyone complaining about how I don't have a winch for my trailer. Uh, I think there may be a winch in the future for this thing. So we decided to stop before we got on any big main roads or interstates or anything just to do a good walk around safety check everything make sure everything's tight just one last time before hitting the road So the trailer did fine. 
Uh, my brother's truck, it actually pulled it really well too, better than I was expecting. Um, it pulled it fine. It's just a half ton with a 5.7, nothing diesel or anything, but it kept up well, pulled the hills good, kept up. No complaints with that. So here's the part where my brother let me take over and drive it the rest of the way home, which included circling the front of the house and going around to the back of the house. Uh, some interesting facts about this thing is looking at the data tag inside of the door, it's a um, 292 four valve V8 gasoline Y block engine. And um, here later on, we'll be doing a, a will it run. Uh, the engine looks to be in pretty good shape. Everything's there. Uh, the exhaust is toast. I'm going to have to do something with the exhaust. But, um, you know, the only visual things that I can see with this is uh, it looks like the master cylinder is frozen and a few odds and ends like that. But uh, stick around, stay tuned, and, and I'll be making a good detailed will it run to include all the things that I find along the way. And... Um, That'll be kind of the next step in the adventure with this 1963 cab over. I've always wanted a cab over. Um, every time I've seen one of these old things, I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, it'd be nice to have one. One of these days I'm gonna get one. Well, I finally have found one. It is a factory yellow. Um, well, I've seen that factory uh, yellow was available. I believe it's a factory yellow. Anyways, thanks for watching and please stick around. Uh, come back. If you like what you've seen, subscribe so you'll know when I have additional content. There's a few vehicles on the channel that I've been covering. Uh, one recently I'm about to make a video on is a 78 model Power Wagon. I found one that was in pretty good shape. So please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.